All right, so now what we're going to do is take away the sphere, but I want to keep it. Uh, the sphere is going to act as the character's kind of blockade or collider. Um, a lot of people will use this pill-shaped object. I don't like the pill-shaped object as much because as far as uh, rigid bodies go, you know, I like a sturdy base for it. So I'm going to keep with the idea that this is, um, it has a sturdier base. And how I'm going to do this is take off uh, the mesh render and remove it. And also the mesh filer. Oops. Let's do that with the player now. So here's the player. Here's the mesh render. There we go. And we can keep the mesh filer or mesh filter there. So the mesh filter stays. It looks like filer. Weird. Um, okay, so here we go. So how I get the actual planes and planes to stick together is I can put those two together. Okay. Now the idea here is to make a lerp and in order to do that I'm going to have to have some form of like zeroed out rotation on the Y axis. In, in this case I do have a zeroed out Y axis so that's good. Uh, the player zeroed out too. So what I want to do is make it so this rotates not the player. The player, if it rotates and it's scooting along, it could have some possibly some possible problems when it goes into uh, its rotation and when it's dragging itself across the floor, it could possibly turn. Um, the player or person that's playing this game does not have to know that this is not what's rotating. The actual plane is what's rotating. So I'm going to stick the plane on the player and there we go. Okay, now, uh, in order for the lerp to work, and this is kind of like the, the very hard part of it, it's, it's not too bad, it's just kind of confusing, I'm going to have to make that a perfect 90 degrees and let's have these as zero. And I'm going to have to make two transformed objects. So I'm going to make two squares. And one cube, and create another cube. Okay, so two cubes. Good. Uh, what I want to do with these cubes is remove everything on them. And I'll call this one negative X. And this one, just X. Just like that. Alright, so for this one, for the negative x, all I do is want to make the same rotation that it is in the plane. See the plane that has a 90 degrees, so I'm going to control C that and paste it here. Also, with the x, I want to do that. But the difference being, for the x, I also want a positive 180. Okay, so there we go. So that means it should rotate um, back and forth. So I'm going to use these as a scene identifier to tell the squirrel this is what it should look like when you transform. You should match these objects within the scene. Or is it important that they be attached to the person? No. They can be anywhere in the scene. They're invisible anyway. And you can use this a lot throughout your 2D application. All right, now in the next video, what I want to do is start writing a LERP code. And it's a very small script. And then attach it to the plane.